Over there. This is all bent. Michelle Decker. This is from the inside look. Captured every angle of her recent run-in with the crook. It was scary. At that point, I thought, oh my gosh, someone tried to break into the house. The garage door, the target at Michelle's house and other homes. From North Austin, out to Cedar Park. I feel like they would have taken everything and then the, the fear that they could have gotten in the house, absolutely right there, is when we were all sleeping. One. This viral how-to video with a million and a half hits. Four. Shows how you can be hooked by a crook. Six seconds, the door's open. And it wasn't even that loud. The burglar is aiming for the release handle or the cord attached to it. But mine is broken, which I think helped me. It must have fallen off a few years ago, which I swear was to my advantage. This is the part of Michelle's garage door opener that was missing. It's what they need to break into your garage. They hook the end of the standard clothes hanger over the trolley, pull down, and they're in easier than kicking a door in. Officer Greg Kader. I've heard of it. Says burglars are following the money. I just think they're moving further into more affluent areas. I would try for the rope. Three years ago. He is getting closer. We first reported on the six second break in. And with the help of Cedar Park overhead doors, we found a simple solution. We found it so this won't come down anymore. All it took was a zip tie threaded through the emergency release handle. Since then, our story has been viewed over a million times on YouTube. But now, Don Grenier thinks there may be a safer alternative to the zip tie. We want it to be up, tied up against the rail. That doesn't jam the release handle. We don't recommend the zip tie anymore. We think this is a more effective method. He agreed to once again play the part of the crook. We're going to try and break in. And help us put the garage shield to the test. Start fishing. You know, looking for a rope. But seconds, then minutes go by, and Don Close. can't connect. I even offered some direction. Towards house. But during our test, the hangar is never able to outmaneuver the shield. It's not letting me get the rope, and it's not letting me release the latch, so I, I can't get the door open. Since the attempted break-in, Michelle installed outdoor lights, activated her alarm system, and locks every window and door. I just felt so lucky that they didn't get in. I don't know how I would have felt had I walked into this garage and it was empty. The extra security is one way to make sure it's just thieves and their hangers that get bent out of shape. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.